What's good YouTube? It's your boy David back with another video and today I'm going to be doing my top books from 2022. These are going to be books that I've read and also books that I've listened to on Audible. So let's get into it. Alright, so let's get started. So if you already watched my Reflection of 2022 video, y'all already know about the first book I'm about to talk about, The Bible, The New um, Living Translation. This book um, is basically, it's called the, um, Walk, the Daily Walk Bible. It basically has an entry for every single day where you read a couple of chapters from every book and at the end of the year you have read the whole Bible. This is one of the most, probably one of my most, you know, proud accomplishments for the year. Um, it was something that I said that I wanted to get done at the beginning of the year, and I am proud to say that I actually, you know, have read, you know, the full Bible. And to that point as well, it definitely was something that I consistently was able to read every single day, um, if not every single day, at least every other day. And it was definitely something that, you know, just kept me being able to read every single day. That's that's a good thing to be doing or a good habit to start is at least reading, you know, a couple of pages, you know, a couple of paragraphs a day. Just getting your mind, you know, um, exercising your mind by reading words on a page, you know, or even listening to words. But it's always good to, you know, pick up a book and, and you know, physically read. Um, or even if it's on a tablet, I prefer, you know, a physical book. But whatever you want to do so this was definitely top book of the year there's so many you know great stories in here that I didn't even know about before you know reading the full Bible you know there's always the popular stories but there's a lot of stories in here again like they say the Bible is one of those books that you know it, it as you're reading it it reads you so you always get something you know good out of it and for me as y'all see through a lot of these books i always highlight whenever i'm reading i always have a couple of highlighters with me so i can highlight you know the important things so that way i can always come back and read a book again and only hit the highlights and not have to read the whole book so this is book number one top one right there all right and there's a bunch of books here actually you know from financial literacy to you know um faith um to all kinds of things self-help books self-help self-help books um but this book right here the success principles is probably you know by jack canfield it's probably one of the best books i've read in terms of you know um self-help and, and trying to you know understand how your mind works and and how you know a lot of these you know successful people that we look up to in life whether it's in sports finance um even you know career wise a lot of these principles really lay out the the foundation and the way in which you know you should be thinking in a whole mindset when it comes to you know having wanting success in anything in life um again not just finance um and not um just in sports but just in general in life in your family x y and z so this was definitely a great book to read honestly like i would tell anybody you don't really need a lot of those other you know um success and, and help um uh, self-help books you know this one right here lays it all out like every anything i've read in a lot i've read a lot of books you know self-help books um but this one definitely hit every single one on the nail when it came to the principles and just the um mindset that you need to have so this is a top book top read the next one i'm going to talk about is by robert morris um, pastor robert morris uh, it's called the blessed life um, my church put me onto this book but this book really opened my eyes to tithing but also to understanding you know god is the source of everything that we you know own everything that comes into our life um, and when you start to understand that, you become more of a generous person. You start to, you know, understand that the more you give away, the more you receive, the more you help out others is the, the more you will, you know, receive tenfold after. So it, it, it's a great book that kind of highlighted all that. It goes through scripture and highlights, you know, different things in which the scripture says in Old and New Testament on the way you should, you know, um, utilize the resources God has given you. And that's just not um, 
resources in terms of money and monetary resources is also you know your gift and your purpose that God has given you it's it's being you know generous with that being generous with the gifts that God has given you where whether it's he's giving you the gift of speaking the giving you the gift of you know X, Y, and Z, whatever it may be, it's you being very generous with that and not closed off to it. God has given you these gifts so that you share them with the world. And the more you share them with the world, the more he'll bless you. So this book right here, The Blessed Life, I highly recommend you know, everyone read this book. It's definitely going to change your life and the way you start to think about the resources that you have. So, boom. All right, we're going to keep going. This also is not in any particular order. These are not like, you know, my top favorites to like my least favorites or anything. This is just books that are my top favorite books of the year in no particular order. So this next book is going to be by Joseph Murphy. Um, it's The Power of Your Subconscious Mind. This one was a really good read as well. Um, another book just kind of highlighting, you know, how your sub subconscious sub conscious mind um, really you know dictates a lot of the things that you do in your day-to-day -day work and not even only just that but things that you decide to feed your subconscious mind will eventually manifest themselves into your actual you know reality to your life so it, it it's a great book that highlights the importance of understanding you know what are you feeding your mind things that you should be trying to feed your mind the way in which your subconscious mind actually works in terms of the things that you constantly think about and excuse me things that you constantly think about and reflect on are the things that you will ultimately see start to manifest in different ways in your life so if you constantly think of you know negativity you know poverty um lack of and things of that nature you're only going to produce more and more of that in your life so it's it's a great book on just understanding that you know um a man isn't what he thinketh so it's always thinking about you know what exactly are, do you have on your mind at that same time and that's going to bring me into this next book called mindfulness this book i actually have not finished reading it yet i'm close to it i'm probably trying to finish this before the end of the year but this book right here um, it's a great book that helps you kind of understand, you know, that our minds sometimes go off and wander, you know, and, and we daydream, right? There's so many times that you might be driving and you're doing the same route that you always do every single day. And before you know it, like you look down and you look back up and you're already at your destination. You're like, how did this happen? Like, you know, so it's just this book really highlights the, um, being mindful and practicing mindfulness. So practicing, you know, when you find yourself kind of like drifting out of, you know, consciousness, if you will, but you're still awake, of course, um, bringing yourself back and like constantly thinking exactly about what you're thinking about in the moment. It's always about, you know, not letting yourself just drift away and, and just go through the, um, the motions, right? It's, it's, a, it's a great way to just practice exercising your brain. Your brain is a muscle just like your body and you should train it just as much as you train your outward and physical body. So those are good ones. And then also, I don't know if I mentioned, but I will definitely leave um, a list of all of these books and the authors um, down in the description so you can see every single book that I talk about right here in this video. So the next one I'm going to talk about, um, Pastor Mike Todd, his book, Crazy Faith. I think this was probably one of the first books I read this year. Look at that. Um, one of the first books I read this year. I would definitely say this book kind of set the tone just for how I wanted to go about this year. Again, I will say right now, I don't have crazy faith, but you know, I am working my way up the tiers, you know, through the baby faith, through the maybe faith, all of that um, trading faith, X, Y, Z. Um, but it's, it was a great book in terms of understanding, you know, how important faith is um, not just, even if you're not, you know, a religious person, but no matter what you're trying to do, you're always kind of thinking about something that, um, or striving for something that you know you can accomplish, but you haven't physically seen it yet. So this book really, you know, set the tone for me, just understanding, you know, God's big role in, in human faith, but also understanding the challenges and the things that come up in human life 
that really are the reason why some people might not have as strong of a faith as other people because you know life is hard um, human life is meant to be hard that's why you're meant to have you know a strong faith you're supposed to be dependent upon God and this book really you know lays that all out on the table from the very beginning to the very end and you know there's things in here you know this is not something this is kind of not a one and done book again like there's highlights over there there's highlights all through this book so this is definitely one that I look forward to reading again at the beginning of next year and just constantly keeping myself in check and constantly you know putting in that work to grow and make my faith stronger from day to day so this is a definitely this is a good one right here this is a good one all right um, two more books real quick um, before I get to this one I'm gonna do this one Joel Osteen next level thinking this is another book so a lot of again this is like maybe as y'all have seen a couple of my top books at least three of them have all been from pastors um i'm very big on not just listening to people who um or might not be very you know strong in their faith or don't talk about god as much i always want to make sure i'm in alignment with god and what he's saying and i value with other people who are very strong in their faith and very vocal about god and what they have to say not only about you know scripture and everything but about life because these people you know live that human life that i do as well so i'm very interested in what they're saying and how they got to the positions that they got to in life as well walking through their purpose so that's why you know i've read a couple of books this year from pastors that i have really enjoyed and found that have really shaped um, my mindset and the trajectory of my life going forward into the next year and next year so this book right here next level thinking this book really highlights you know taking into account that you know God gives us confidence and it's, it's about walking in that confidence that God gives us to accomplish the things that he has set out for us in our lives so it's all about again it's next level thinking it all starts in your mind and it all starts in you believing that you know you are here for a higher purpose right so this book really you know highlights you know just Make, so this just this right here so make sure your environment is not holding you back you need to be around people who inspire you people who are, have gone further people who are making a difference not just people who are settling for the status quo so it's just a really good this is almost if you will a self-help book as well but it again highlights the importance of your subconscious mind the um, power of scripture the power of God the power of you know faith um, and it, it blends it all together in a great way that's relatable to you know everybody so this is another great book that I would highly recommend you know you pick up and read for yourself um, the last book I'm going to talk about is if I could tell you just one thing so this book here um, again it's, it's pretty thick but um, this book was probably one of one of my favorites for sure this year um, yeah, definitely a top favorite out of this list um, in terms of just a lot of, you know, influential people, a highly um, motivational, motivational people, um, political people, um, people in, you know, royalty, um, the royal family, things of that nature, um, CEOs, um, I think even some pastors in here, um, all kinds of people from different walks of life and basically it's the the author um, the guy doing the interviews in the book is basically just going around and he's interviewing you know these people of you know higher status or people who have you know done great work in the world um, famous people um, non-famous people uh, again X Y and Z but really highlights and he asked them one thing like if there's one thing you could you know one piece of advice that you would give anybody and they all put it down from interview to interview to interview so this book is filled with I mean I don't know how many people is actually in here maybe like a hundred people a uh, hundred plus people's you know one word of advice that they're giving to everybody that that one thing that they you know would tell their younger selves that one thing that they would you know tell that you know um, young kid who's inspiring to be them who's looking out um, looking up towards them things like that um, just 
so much great information in here. It's a quick read. It's definitely not long at all. Like, don't be discouraged by how thick it is. It's definitely a quick read, but it's it's definitely also one of those books you don't even have to read it all the way through. You know, this could be one of those books you just read one entry a day. But it's just great to hear. You know some of these you know great people and that one word of advice that they would give you because i mean i think i'll go let me read one real quick so i think so i'll just read this little entry real quick right here and then we'll end the video so um this first entry right here so i've come to believe that one of the most important things is to see people the person who opens the door for you the person who pours your coffee acknowledge them Show them respect. Their traditional greeting of the Zulu people of South Africa is Suwabana. Um, it means I see you. So I try and do that. So, and, and that just highlights, you know, um, I think that's like one of the first um, entries or first two entries of the book, but it just highlights, you know, slowing your life down, slowing it down. And, and, and just that piece of advice right there, acknowledging people, you know, a lot of times we just go through our day to day life without actually, you know, seeing the people that are right in front of us. So that's just a great piece of advice and, and something definitely to live by. So and again, I've highlighted all through this book. So it's definitely another book that I would like to go and read through again. Um, year after year just to you know keep myself in check but also just remind myself of great advice so it's been a long day anyways <laughs> all right um before i let y'all go i'm gonna go through some of my audible books that um i listened to this year um first up on the list joel osteen every day of friday this is a great book for just you know highlighting and and reiterating again that you know live every day to its fullest um right there even in my room i have this poster don't take today for granted and it's a constant reminder to me that you know today i have purpose today if god woke me up today i have there's something that he wants me to do for him so i i live with that mentality and i carry it with me throughout my day to always understand that you know we all come across you know different people from different walks of life and you never know when you know something that you do for someone else can really impact them in a meaningful way um, that's going to transcend even your little moment that you had with them so that book is just a constant you know was a just a reminder to me about that you know principle so uh, we'll keep going um, I listened to Will's book, uh, Will Smith's book, Will. That was a great enlightening book about, you know, his life and his, his work ethic and just, you know, his, you know, his trials and tribulations as he's walked through life. Um, another great book was 50 Cent's um, Hustle Harder, Hustle Smarter. That book was really good in terms of um, understanding that that man is a machine. He definitely, you can, you can read in the book and you can you know, kind of hear it in his voice, the, um, the mentality he carries um, with him. Like he ultimately knew from like kind of day one where he wanted to take his brand and where he wanted to take himself as a person. He sticks true to his principles um, of his way of living. You know, he doesn't allow his environment to influence him and, and um, knock him off the path that he has set for himself, right? So that was a really good book. Um, let's see, Crushing by T.D. Jakes, that's a great one. Um, yeah, I'm just gonna just hit these quick highlights. Uh, Bring Your Human to Work, that is a great book uh, in terms of, uh, for me, so I work at my job, I am the committee lead for our Jedi Committee, Justice, Equity, Diversity, and Inclusion. Um, but through, through playing that role at my job, I, I also understand, you know, I need to keep continue to educate myself as well. And Bring, you, Bring Your Human to Work is another great book in terms of continuing my education with those things and understanding that, you know, we all come from different walks of life and that it's important to feel comfortable in the environment that you work at, right? And um, the book kind of breaks down, you know, techniques and, and things to kind of, you know, break down those systemic barriers and break down those, you know, work barriers that, you know, um, hold people back from actually being able to bring their whole self to work, right? So definitely a great read um, if you, you know, are into things like that or just, you know, want to learn more about life, right? Um, last book I'll talk about, this is a um, book recommended by one of Kayla's friends. Um, 
The Status Game. This is a really good book in terms of kind of just highlighting, you know, life itself in terms of like how status really runs this world from the standpoint of just a lot of people might say, you know, money rules the world. Like, you know, having this amount of money will, you know, drive your power in this world. But a lot of times it's actually status that will do that rather than money because you could be kind of one of the richest people in the world. But if people don't know that, which status, or if people you're not, you know, your company is not well known in all of that, that doesn't really make you so much of a powerful person, right? It's the same thing, it even goes from, you know, environments, right? So someone who, you know, has spent their whole life, they talked about this in the book, someone who spent, you know, 15, 25 years in prison might not want to come into the real world and, and, and live, you know, freedom. And again, I ain't speaking for everybody, but just out of the context of the book, they have developed an identity for themselves, especially if they, you know, been locked up from a very young age, they have grown into this identity of being behind bars, being in that, you know, prison environment. Like they, that is where they have thrived and, and made a name for themselves, right? So for them to come out of that environment and be thrown into the world that they have never, you know, experienced for the last, you know, 25 years, is gonna be life changing. It's gonna be, you know, life disruptive, you know, it's gonna make them feel like they don't have a place in this world, they don't have status. So it's just a great book of highlighting. I mean, there's so many different examples. It definitely goes very, very in depth in terms of like understanding how status rules this world and like how um, everything from, you know, money to sex to religion, all of it is a part of this thing called the status game. And yeah, that one's a that one's a crazy read, but um, I definitely highly recommend it. if you're interested, definitely read that one. So there you have it. Those are my top books. I hope I wasn't rambling too much, but those are my top books from 2022. Um, again, these are not all like books from the year of 2022, of course, but these are my favorite books that I've read this year. So I hope y'all enjoyed that. Let me know if y'all gonna pick up some of these for yourselves. But again, till next time, don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe, and we out.